So in this computer animation tutorial today, we are going to look at how to import sound into Wick Editor. So looking at our Halloween animation, as I kind of just preview play this here, as you can see, when you start in the middle of your animation, sometimes when you preview play things, the timing of things get messed up. But there we go. So you can see what we're getting into here. You see that I got a sound layer here and we're going to go over how to import a sound from freesound.org. So I'm going to close this tab because I have another tab open without that sound layer. And so I'll go through the steps how to add it in. So uh, freesound.org, you'll want to set up an account or log in in order to download a sound. Um, I went ahead and just typed into the search bar Halloween. So I got, that's where I found this dramatic organ sound. Um, if you want to search for a more specific type of sound, um, you know, feel free to type in something more specific um, than Halloween. It's kind of general, but um, lots of different sound and stuff to look at here. You can preview play from this little corner icon. Um, when you find the right sound that you want to download, click on the name of it there, and then we'll just simply hit download. That will put this uh, WAV file into your downloads folder on your computer. So while that is happening, I'll click back over to Wick Editor and I will kind of set up a spot for this to go. So you will need to put a layer in for sound. So I just click the plus button here in the layers panel to add a layer. I'm gonna rename this one sound. And then what I wanna do is uh, click on this first space here to add a frame for the sound to go. And then I'm going to expand it so it is the length of my animation. So there we go, I think 36 frames was what we had set for this initially. And then, as you can see, this looks like it's done uh, loading. What we want to do is upload an asset. So I'm going to click on this Upload Asset button right here. And then I will go to my Downloads. And right here is that sound file that I downloaded. So I'm going to click Open. And that should import it in. You see all this stuff sounds good. And you can see right here in your assets um, that you have a sound file here. Now really all you need to do is click and drag this sound file to the layer where it's supposed to be and then just let go. And now that sound file is in here. So when I hit play, you can see that that works out. So you, what you may notice is that the sound itself is longer than what fits into the frames of this animation. So you may end up wanting to make your animation a little bit longer um, so that your sound plays a little bit longer. When we go to export this, it's going to cut off after that first ba -na -na -na. As you can see, the sound wave is just that one. It doesn't do the second ba -na 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 -na. Sorry for my pitch deafness, but so what I'm going to do is go ahead and make this animation longer. I'm actually just going to hit the um, the add frame plus uh, on each one of these layers and just extend um, each one of these layers to uh, 60 frames or so. Um, and you can see now that I get some of these extra wave bits um, in because the uh, entire my entire animation is longer. So one thing you will notice though, these are all blank frames here. So I actually want to delete all these blank frames because these are, um, they're going to end up making the end of your animation kind of flash to nothing, right? I want to make sure my animation ends just with these kind of like uh, tweens here, right? I don't want blank frames at the end. So um, let's pull this back to the beginning and just give one more preview play and then we'll go to export. All right, so you can see that there, um, that that works a little bit better. The other thing we may need to do is because we had the door opening at a certain time, um, I made this uh, just right up to the 60. So I might actually go ahead and edit my house in here to make the same timeline uh, with the door opening. Um, pull this out to 60 as well, uh, just so that the timing of the door opening is correct with what we established for the sound here. So that is one last step that you'll want to do so that the door doesn't fly open again a second time um, in the middle. Although if it flies open again, I guess that's just kind of spooky, right? So anyways, we're going to export this now when we're done. And what we'll actually want to choose is the video option here. So we'll want to export video in order to keep sound, as you can see, has sound. GIFs have no sound. So we'll click export video once this is all finished. 
Of course, always save your WIC file. So hit save and save your WIC file so that you can have your project file to continue working with or editing in the future if you feel like you need to jump in and, and make any changes again. So always save your WIC file. Taking a second to render here because there is sound in it, so it may take a second longer. Hopefully this is not freezing, but I would like it to finish so I could look at the final product here. Anyway, <laughs> not sure I'm going to get lucky with that. So this might take a second. So anyways, um, it shouldn't take a se this long. Uh, normally it took only a second for it to happen in my other example. Um, but I don't think that it finished exporting. I could try this one more time. Yeah, see, it still says it's working on it. So anyways, I'll sign off for now. But that's how you get your sound into a Wick Editor project for our haunted houses.